There is a brand new method available for mass outbreak hunting in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet where you can go to a specific area where a Pokemon spawns and increase the chances of getting that rarer mass outbreak spawning in that area. We're going to go over all the details in today's video. I've already done this and had success with Sylveon, Flareon, Tinkertuff and Riolu mass outbreaks in the space of just over an hour. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. So mass outbreaks we know are the best way to go out and get shinies. You can combine these with sandwiches to get sparkling power as well to boost your chances, but you don't necessarily need it. Like I say, in game, I've just tested this method out. I've just got a shiny Flareon. That's without any sandwich boost. I've got the Sunny Sylveon, again without a sandwich boost. I did use a sandwich boost on the Tinker Tuff here. And then I've just got the Riolu as well, which has not got the sandwich boost either. And you can check on the map as well. We've still got the Riolu Mass Outbreak active. So the method is basically, when you go onto your map normally, if you're anything like me, you'll come on, you'll see a bunch of like common Pokemon here. We've got Aracuda here, I see that all the time. We've got Tadbulb here as well. That's another regular that I predominantly see. Flittle, always see Flittle ones. But very rarely do I see anything that I really want to go after. Frozlas is another one I constantly see. But there is a way for you to spawn more rarer dens, just like I've spawned this Riolu. And the way to do it is by going into your Pokedex and then having a look at the Pokemon that you're currently going to hunt for. Now I went for the Riolu, I've got a bunch of the EV Evolutions as well, so I was kind of looking through the Pokedex and having a look at what good shinies there are out of the new Pokemon in these games. And the one that I really do like, and I think I would like to go after in this video, just as an example for you guys, is Dondozo, which is the big catfish Pokemon that we get as a Titan Pokemon. It's got a really cool shiny, it's regular colors blue, it's shiny color is white, it's really easy to identify. It is going to be on the water, so it will make it a little bit more difficult, because we're not going to be able to set our picnics up, so we will have to leave the area and come back to the area, but... I kind of don't mind that because I, I kind of do that a lot anyway. Now the area where it spawns is in Lake Casaroya. So that is the location that we want to go when we are resetting our mass outbreak. Principles are the same. If you find a Pokemon in your Pokedex, you look at where it spawns in the wild and then you head to that area. So that's the area that we're going to go to right now. And we're going to start resetting our outbreaks to see if we can spawn Dondoza a bit more easily. Because it's an outbreak I have not seen in my game up to now. Oh great, we've got a fly point right in the middle of the island, which makes it a lot easier. So yeah, if you've got a Pokemon that you're specifically looking for from an outbreak, then do this method. If it has a location on the map, I'm going to say... 90% sure that it will spawn in a mass outbreak. Obviously, there are going to be Pokemon when you go into your Pokedex that aren't going to have an entry or a location at all. You know, you're going to get things like the legendaries. If you go to their habitat, you're not going to get a location. Fully evolved things like Hydreigon, which has not got a location. So that would be my best guess without doing further research. But at the moment, I think if they've got a location on the map where they do spawn, I believe that that will indicate you can get a mass outbreak of them. So you can see on our map here, we are on the lake and we are going to start the process of resetting our mass outbreaks. Now, you know the process is you can use the date skip glitch. So just come into your home menu, come down to system settings and then system, date and time. Click the day forward once, click OK. Make sure you synchronize clocks off by the internet, hit your home menu back into the game and your mass outbreaks will change. They'll change in real time when you come back into the map. Now we've got only the Dreadnought appearing in this area. The frost last disappeared. We can have a look around the rest of the map if you want just to see what else there is, but there isn't really. We get the Varun, which is kind of a common one as well, the Ghastly, and a Drift Blim down where we were. So maybe a little bit rarer, but nothing too exciting. So nothing here. All we want to do is just repeat this process over again until we do get the spawn of the Pokemon that we're looking for that appears in the area that we're currently in at the moment. And it seems like if you're in the current area where this Pokemon spawns, you have an almost increased chance for this Pokemon to appear as a mass outbreak in this area. There's a Vaporeon. Sorry, I had to come and do the Vaporeon outbreak here. And we've already got the shiny after about 30 knockouts, which is just incredible. We need to get you. Don't go away. There we go. 
No! No, it's swimming away! Don't despawn. Don't do this to us. <laughs> I thought I'd lost it. We have got it, though. Ah, oh, that's nice. Okay, that's good. That's good. Sorry, we'll get back to the Dondozo in just one second. And there we go. We finally got Dondozo. And it has taken a while. I mean, I've done about two months of skips. So if you're wanting to get this one, you're going to have to be a little bit patient or you're going to have to get really lucky to get it early because I do feel like it's a rare spawn in this spot in particular. I've had a number of Dragonair. I've had a number of Vaporeon, Azumarill, Slowbro. So lots of rare Pokemon, but never had the Dondozo appear in this spot. And we finally got it. Right, so let's go after this Dondozo and try and see if we can catch the shiny of it it does support the theory if you're in the area and resetting for the the mass outbreak then it does appear like it gives you increased chances especially because i've already done the riolu which was the one thing that i thought this has to be like one of the rarest spawns to get as a mass outbreak but yet i did the reset in that area and it did spawn in that area so would suggest that this method does work. It does give you an increased chance of getting the resets that you want in a, in a particular area. Although there's nothing concrete we can kind of say about it. It can't, we can't prove it. Obviously further testing needs to be done with it, but that is something that I'm gonna try and do. And obviously if there's any updates, they will be in the pinned comment. Now we are in the area. So what we need to do is knock out 60 of these Pokemon and we'll be back when we do. 61, right, let's say that's 60, okay. Blooza, so annoying. For this, I'm not gonna set a sandwich up because I don't really feel like I necessarily need to with the increased odds that we get after we hit 60. So it's gonna be a case of just going back to the bank, despawning these ones that are here, and then respawning a bunch when we come back. See, if we just turn around here, you can see the, the most of them have despawned, so we'll just be heading back. And you can do this rather than the picnic. It is a little bit more time consuming, but again, it is a method to be able to do this. So we just come into the area and you can see them respawning into the area. And every time they do respawn, we've got that chance of them being a shiny, a big, nice shiny. So we'll just go back to the bank again. And there it is, there it is, the best shiny in the entire game. And it hasn't even been too long. We've not had too many trips back to the shore and back. And here it is, we get it, come on, let's go. How is that for a sprite? Just a big yellow tongue. Oh, I'm so happy about this. We have to get this thing in a Premier Ball if we can. It's going to be so hard, but we'll try. But that is pretty much the whole method in encapsulated i've got a bunch of i've got a box of pokemon that are i would class as rare mass outbreak spawns that i've done in the space of a couple of hours just using this method of going to an area where that pokemon spawns and then resetting my outbreaks until that pokemon seems to spawn in that area where it originally spawns in the wild anyway i think the theory of if the pokemon has a location where it spawns on the map then it can have a mass outbreak pretty much feels like it's correct if it has got a question mark i don't think that pokemon is possible to get as a mass outbreak so that might be something that we see implemented with dlcs or special events or something like that but for now i think we're safe in probably the knowledge that everything that has a location on the Paldea map is going to be accessible through mass outbreaks. Some of them will have rare spawns and others, of course. Uh, it's just a case of trying this technique, going to the area where they spawn and then resetting your date and seeing if the rare spawn appears in that area that you are. It does seem like you are going to have increased chances of that spawn appearing in the area. Of course, I'm going to do further testing, like I've already said but this feels like a really solid method to go after these Pokemon and really start cranking up your shiny kind of collection. Come on, let this be the one. Status, it's lot its health. Come on. Critical catch, yes, we get it. <laughs> we finally get it, okay. What a successful hunt that was. And the method seems to work, like I say. We've reset the, the mass outbreaks in this area. Now we could continue with this Dondoza outbreak and try and get another one. We could also put a sandwich up if we wanted. We've got a crowd of Dondoza watching over us right now, which seems a little bit 
scary. Right, we are done with this one. So let's skedaddle out of here. Let me know if you try this method for yourself with one of the rarer mass outbreaks. You go to the area where it normally spawns in the wild and then you start resetting your mass outbreaks in the game and hopefully it will appear. If it does, let me know and have a successful shiny hunt with it. I hope you found these tips useful today. If you have, drop a like on the video. If you're new, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet coverage on the channel. I really feel like this is a very good method to take into these games for shiny hunting just to further adapt mass outbreak shiny hunting because it is such a good method in these games of course if there are any updates that i can update this video i will leave them in the pinned comments down below and we might do another video in the coming weeks just to update this method if i can get some more information about honing this down and really refining this process completely thank you for tuning in friends until next time see you later until then bye bye